because it sounds to me like Big Dog City is trying to tamp down your fun. He is. Okay. Well, he is. There's a guy in baseball, Miguel Rojas, who <laughs> was tamping down Jazz Chisholm's fun. And I kind of want to get into this conversation because baseball is deemed there's like a clash. There's like a war. Bumgarner was going at it with Yasiel Puig because Yasiel Puig was playing the game the way the young kids want to play the game. And Bumgarner was playing the game the way the old people wanted to play right. the game. And I see this all the time. I see I see coaches like you know you follow different things on Instagram and social media. And here's my theory: whatever makes you like the sport, whatever sport it is, lean into it. If you're a coach, get the young people excited. So I see a lot of old school baseball coaches. When you hit a double, you shouldn't dance. You shouldn't do a bow and arrow to the dugout. That's what the young kids do. They get on base maybe two or three times out of 10, all right? And and when they get there, they want to celebrate. It's not like basketball where you hit 50% right. of your shots. Right. You're actually failing significantly more. Right. So I want to see the guys at the big league level have fun. I want to see excitement. Jazz Chisholm is one of the more flamboyant, exciting players in baseball. Wouldn't you agree? Yep. Hurt a lot, you know, young guy, but he's very flamboyant. To me, he is a microcosm of the movement yep. of the youth. Yep. Well, this is what he said on a podcast. Uh, what's the podcast, guys? The name the of the pivot, podcast? The Pivot. Ryan Clark. The pivot. This is Ryan Clark. The Pivot. This sounds like a, an NBA player or an NFL player, not a baseball player. And that's why I want to play it because I think it's, it's very, very fascinating. Listen to what he said about the clubhouse dynamics. I'm like, I was already a team leader without being called a team leader. But the vets, you can't be a team leader when you got guys in the clubhouse that's been in there for nine, ten years. Even though they suck, <laughs> they've been there for nine, ten years, yeah. and the team calls them the team captain, but, like, they're not a good captain. They're not a good person. You're not even a good athlete at this point. Yeah. You're just here. Yeah. And you're bringing down the young guys that are supposed to be good. Bro, like, I watched someone get called up to the big leagues, supposed to be, like, top three prospects on our team, right? He gets up there, hits a homer. Like, first, sex, first or second at bat hits a homer, right? His next at bat, he goes and does the Juan Soto shuffle, right? Like, he's a kid. His favorite player is Juan Soto. He just got to the big leagues. Tell me why he comes in the dugout after, he, he walks, get around the base, come in the dugout after. These vets sit on the side of him and start yelling at him saying, bro, you're not Juan Soto, bro. You shouldn't be doing that. Juan Soto is an all-star, da 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 You can't be doing that. Bro, what do you mean? He's having fun, bro. We playing a kids games yeah. like that's when i step in and say bro y'all better back up off this boy bro this man is starting he's playing every day for us why are y'all in his face y'all don't even play every day what's up like get <laughs> off get off my man bro he's supposed to be helping us win when y'all bringing him down now you can go a lot of different directions with yeah. this you, you you look at the giants they've been boring for a long time they lack guys like this yeah I look at the Warriors and I look at Jordan Poole and I think it sparked a lot of older fans like, Ugh, why are you so arrogant? Well, why do you play that way? Wouldn't you agree? Well, I think people forget during the championship season, they were all about Jordan Poole. No, I, we're all having pull plays. I agree. But then when the team started struggling, we need to f point a finger at somebody. And so who are you going to be loyal to? The guys who have been here the longest or the young hotshot who you say, ah, he hasn't really put it to work like the other guys, or it, quote unquote. Even though Jordan Poole was in the work, and they were tracking his usage rate in practice, the guy was working. But there was some after the fact. Yeah, he's too arrogant. But when he was balling and scoring twenty five and helping you win games, it was all good. It, don't you see this a lot in the NFL too? Oh, oh, absolutely. prime player shows up here and thinks he's he's the man, and he's not that good. Like. I know we associate that probably more with wide receiver, but you see that right. across the board. I think there was a lot of people in Washington who thought that about Chase Young. Wouldn't yep. you agree? No, absolutely. By the way, shameless shout out 745, shameless shout out 7045. As you are listening to 957 the game, KGMG FM and HG1 San Francisco. Don't forget, you can also watch us every single day on our YouTube and Twitch streams. Just log on and search for 957 the game. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel while you are there. Brought to you by First North Cal Credit Union. Upgrade your savings dividend. Open a First NorCal First Class Money Market today. And shout out to the Comcast Business Tech line. Text Line as always. I see you, Zucci made. I see you out there. I see you out there. Oreo Cookie as well. Oreo what? Cookies out there. He's with me on the uh, fantasy. on the fantasy yeah, stuff. He goes, Bate Light Years is correct. Haters are everywhere, big dog. They are hating. I like that. But but to the whole point about I that whole the last laugh. That whole get what I want. <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> can so you play that one? Can you play that one time? I will have the last laugh, and I will get what I yeah. want. <laughs> you sound like Jazz Chisholm. I do. Sounds like Benny. Who's yeah, he does. Time. I will get what I want. He sounds like a villain in Batman. <laughs> I am a villain. I, I will have evil. the last laugh, Batman, <laughs> and I'll get what I want. I am evil. <laughs> oh, oh, they hate me in this league. Oh, they hate me. Philly Zoo. I left the conversation before Philly Zoo even chimed in. I had to. These guys are hating on me. But he showed his ass. It, it, it is interesting. Like there is a culture war going on in in sports. Like Steph Curry is a great example. Internally, we love Steph Curry, but I know. And Steinie's talked about this, and I'll give him some credit here. If you're, let's just say, the Sacramento Kings, okay, and and he's you know dancing before the three pointer even goes through the net. I am sure that triggers well, a lot of people. Well, I mean, a lot of people around the league. There was other there, when the Warriors lost that championship. I remember talking to a beat right Yeah, what'd they say? And they were like, Fonte, teams have been wanting to beat the Warriors. They said they can't stand Steph Curry with these big head that bounce. And, and, he's, and we like it for the entertainment, which is why I love touchdown celebrations. Yeah. And the NBA, or excuse me, the NFL embracing the touchdown celebrations, saying, you know what? We need this in our game. The yeah. fans love it. Yes. We need to cater to our fans. But there are this, hey, get off my line. Yes. Do it the right way. No, man. These guys put in so much work to try to be successful. God bless their souls for trying to show some emotion in a baseball game or a football game. Absolutely. And baseball's been late to the party with this, but baseball over the last couple of years has finally started to embrace the pipping home runs mm -hmm. going down. They saw what happened when Jose Bautista threw that bat in that it's wild card game against amazing. Texas. It's one of the sickest bat flips in the world ever, do you, ever. Do you think that there's, uh, obviously there's the off the court stuff, so remove the off the court stuff. Maybe people can't separate the two. Right. But I feel like John Morant falls into this category where there are a lot of people around the league I see rooting against John Morant because of how flamboyant he is. Well, and I'm telling you right now, no, it resonates I, with the kids. The I, kids I love John Morant. No, I don't think it has anything to do with that when it comes to Ja. You, you don't think? It's it's the off the court okay, stuff. Okay, okay. It's the gun play and whatnot. Ja on the okay. court is box office. I agree. We love Ja's always trying to duck us. Totally somebody. agree. We love Ja on the court. It's the other stuff that people see. It's like, Ja, how does this happen? You know, and yes. he can live his own life, but the stuff that gets leaked out. So people look down on strip clubs. So people look down yeah. on being in a room full of money and naked girls. So people look down on being, you know, and like, I don't, I'm not a fan of, Hip show it goes off. I like John. You're a robot. Uh, no, that like, I John, agree with. I get to, to want to be that guy, but you're not that guy. Yeah. You don't need to be that guy. You're on enough. You're a role model, and I know you didn't sign up to be that. Yeah. The, the rules when you play for an NBA franchise and carry an organization, and you can pay a lot of money. There's baked in rules to that. So, um, I, John, I think people love John the court. Oh, people, okay. People, people are, but the old guard. The old get off my lawn. Yeah. I don't like this. He's got the dreads. He's got the different colors. He's got the swag. Pounding He's got his this chest. And that. Pounding his chest. You know, Iverson got the same heat. Uh, that's a good point. Iverson got the same that's heat a good from point. these guys. So I don't know what it is. It's just well, some people don't like it. Ronald Acuna essentially called out Freddie Freeman like, yeah, your style doesn't work anymore right. in this dugout. Yeah, no. He was like, dude, we don't like you anyway. Like, you, you, we don't do things like that. We want to have fun. Exactly. And that clubhouse does seem a lot looser. Oh, way looser. Way looser. And there's a vibe. And, and there's there tends to be a vibe. I just found it interesting. I very rarely have ever heard any baseball player just talk like that right. to the way that, that, that Jazz Chisholm was talking. And right. to me, it was a microcosm of where sports is going. Yep. Kids, people, us as the consumer, we want to be entertained and we want to have fun. Yep. Yes, I understand that there are certain things that people see like running up the score and you're 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 insulting the opponent. This is entertainment. And if and, we're not having fun, what are we doing? And listen, it's a healthy respect for opponents. Of course. I don't think people are trying to show up opponents. No. Not not for the most part. People want to celebrate the work they because the work that you do put in, the hours that you spend to get prepared for a game. To get pre prepared for that bat, the time that goes into it. These basketball players, basketball, baseball, they're on the road all the time. They're trying to get rest yes. and recovery and whatnot. And just try to put in the work to be good. It takes a lot. So why not celebrate that accomplishment? I heard Tyreek Hill on one of his podcasts was talking about, like, when I score a touchdown, I want to do something fun. You know why? Because I work six days a week yep, thinking about Sunday, see? and then when I get to Sunday, I might not score. Right. So if I do score, I'm going to take a second to appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely. You put it to work. <laughs> exactly. You put it to work right there. He's like, so. when I'm running sprints in May and you don't see it, like I'm thinking about what I'm going to do when I hit the end zone. <laughs> this is funny. Jay LaFray. 
You need to pick a ball standings a coming before Warriors talk. <laughs> Let's talk pickleball. Pickleball, the fastest growing sport in America. Shout out Rick Barry. Did you see the biggest injury in pickleball right now? No. What Bernard is Langer hurt his Achilles Did playing really? pickleball. Oh my God. Pickleball's legit. Pickleball, it's a golfer. Pickleball. It's a joke. Pickleball's it's a joke. legit. No, I didn't know. I, I Shout didn't. out Germany. Michelle, oh. Michelle got a couple of uh pickleball paddles and some balls and they we were going to play it up the river she had played uh with her family during a family reunion i was out of town right and uh she says it's extremely difficult and taxing yeah i have yet to play i'm 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 in for it all right let's do it <laughs> you guys want to talk pickleball or warriors i'm kidding you guys don't think we're going to talk warriors relax relax just because we can talk all three sports on this show